This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Excited for her and her family. Also excited for St. Francis. 
question about that. 7-4 lead. His Angels going to the University of Maryland next year. Towns, they swing it. For the tie. Tip the miss. Nice offensive rebound by Ferguson. That goes that one no good. Reese with the rebound there. It's really good if she can rebound and push. at that last bucket before Reese had the transitional one. Shot clock down to eight. Inside. Got his put it up. Fun and miss. Reese with the rebound. Inside. Two, two, two. Very tough. Very tough. You gotta do a good job of boxing her out. Probably gonna have to pick up their intensity, their effort. Get their balls a little bit better. Right now, so I think when they can settle down a little bit and get into that poly style of basketball, they'll be fine. Definitely, and it ain't many that can guard Angel Reese straight up. Many, if any. Yes. <laughs> so again, it's, that's why it's so important that you keep off the offensive glass. Got to box out, and then once you box out, you got to run. You got to get up and down the floor. We try to make it a little harder for them. Second one go down. Nine four lead here for the Panthers. Top ranked team in the varsity squad. Matt Baltimore, Sun Pole, Polly ranked second. And then we start to pull as the weekend is called. Foul number five. Robinson coming up to the line to shoot two. Absolutely. That's what you got to do when you break the press. You got to attack the basket. Don't break the press and set up for a jump shot. Break the press and attack the basket. Either get an and one or, or, or a free throw. First shot. Ah. Good. It's nerves. I think it's a little nerves right now. It's a big crowd in here. It is a big crowd, and, and a bigger gym floor. You know, in college, the, the floor is 94 feet as opposed to 84 feet of high school. So you got to get used to that. You got to get your wind going a little bit. But I think this is going to be a good ba basketball game later in the second half. Like, really good. Second shot goes down. It's a four point lead for the Panthers. Reese gets the ball back from Gordine and she gives it back up again. Over the other way. Coach Shelton celebrating his 500 win as a turnover. Two great coaches in this game, by the way, coaches. Miss uh, Abel Peace over on Polly's end and then Coach Shouting at St. Francis. What a chess match. Absolutely, man. Two of the best coaches around. Their programs are constantly winning and constantly getting young people to come to those schools to play. So that speaks volumes for both of them. Inside. Ah! And again, that's what that's what Miss Towns has to do. She's six feet tall. She needs to apply that length and that, that athletic oh, putting pressure on the McDonald's All-American Angels. First shot. Got it. She came to play. She came ready today. That's what seniors do. They come ready to play. No question about that. It's got to be the first time I ever played I've seen. You got two blockbuster matchups, one boys, one girls, in the same building, same day, same schools, right? Absolutely wonderful. And again, I gotta give a shout out to the Morgan State University for allowing this to happen. And, and uh, I gotta give a shout out to these two teams wanting to be a part of this. No question about it. This matchup on the boys' side been three years going, second year for the girls. First time it's been in the city. Last two years at Grotter. That's actually going. St. Francis always has a shooter or two. Senior guard. 12-7. Uh-oh, right back. Bang! Yes, sir! Let me know what it is. I'm a senior, and I'm in here today. It's going to be a good one. Hopefully everybody can get in here and get a seat, man, so they can see this, this big girls matchup between the Poly Engineers and, and the St. Francis Panthers. No question about it. This is where it's at. It's as big as you can get it here in Baltimore. Reese. Reese drives again. Inside. Oh. Count the pass. 
I think that probably has to do a better job of making her shoot the ball as opposed to letting her get driving, get to the basket. Try to nullify that height by taking the drive away from her. Maybe she shouldn't close out so far, just put the high hand and make her shoot it. But again, she's a great player, so I'm sure he has, she has a whole repertoire of moves in her, in her, in her bag, tricks in her bag. She did. <laughs> I've seen her first time against Bishop McNamara a couple years back and seen the specialness on. And that team I buy Davis and company on it, that was great already. Absolutely. St. Francis has been on a good run for the last, what you want to say, eight, nine years. They've been I would, a really, really good run. They have. That's a jumper. Oh, man. There you go. Miss Ferguson again. There you go. Karis. Karis a transfer from uh, Miami two years ago. She can shoot the ball. She can shoot the best of them. 14-12. to the Pikeville staff. They had a game against Rolling Park Country today on the girls' side. They said, we gotta get down here and see this one. <laughs> we gotta move the time. We gotta do something. We gotta see this match. I'm sure, I'm sure that everybody wants to get an opportunity to see this game. No matter where you are. I saw so many coaches, so many young people that I know as I was walking into this, the arena. Um, it was just good to see so many different people. And the support from everywhere. You see school, young people with their school jerseys on or school uh, hoodies. It was great. We'll be right back. 14-12 games. We're we'll back in the game action. And uh, St. Francis is going to inbound out. Shot clock at 6. Close. We know who, well, duh, we know who's getting the ball, right? <laughs> man, man. Again, I'm going to say it again, man. You're not going to out-jump her. You either got to box her out and hope she'll go over the back. And just one the ball on the team. Just give her the shot. Give her the two points. It's a three. So. You've seen how we can get that ball out. Yes. <laughs> I tell you what, man, I think the last time we, we were here, there were a lot of free throws being missed. And tonight, both teams are making their free throws. Second shot here from the All-American senior. That one's been out. It's a three-point game here at the Hillfield House. There's the Baltimore ball out. The girls portion of St. Francis and Pollock. That's a drive. Turned it over. A little wild there by Wilson. They should gave it up. I think she thought she was fouled. Man. Man. That's good if you make her do that. Make her pass. Let anybody else shoot it. Make her pass. It's a good shot. You can't teach that. That's <laughs> But again, I think Miss Wilson got to do the same thing. Attack her. Don't give her the opportunity to sit there and talk to you. Blow by her like you just did in the last one. Ah. That was no good. Ball back to the Panthers. And I think Coach Peace is saying right there, take the ball to the basket. Don't settle for that shot. If you see Angel Reese, she uses her size to get down in the teeth of the defense. Speaking of long distance jumpers, you'll take that. That's what you want to do right there. And I'm sure she'll get better and better and better as she goes down and, to, and be with Coach Freeze down at uh, North, uh, Maryland. I'm sorry. Five and a foul. 13 foul against the Panthers here. Again, I think Morgan has to stay down in the teeth of the defense. First shot. In there. That's it. Gabriel Clark, that's the freshman. Last time I saw her play, she, she had like 18 points. She, she's really, really a freshman. Is not afraid of the, of the moment. And she's not tapped back. Reese gets it now. Seconds left here in the first quarter. It's been a very moving first quarter. Absolutely. Wide open jumper. Spin out. Out of bounds to be going to Polly. Right? Absolutely. Again, probably has to box out. You're not going to out jump these young ladies from St. Francis. Box out, do the right thing, and go from there. Give yourself an opportunity to stay in this game. No question about it. Inside drive. Going back to St. Francis. Shot. 
again, I think it's one of those things, man. She's a she's a very good basketball player, Angel Reese. That's a great, that's a big block. That's a big block. Oh, look out. Turns it over. Here comes Towns. Towns got to push it. She does. Missed it high though that time. Oh, Reese. Back over. Set on the ball. to see them try to get up and down with St. Francis. There you go. I think uh, uh, it's almost uh, uh, the pressure on St. Francis defense. She has to. She, again, she's a very strong guard. Check five. Four, three seconds. St. Francis girls, number one, here locally. They're up 18 to 13 over Polly, right number two locally. Here in the bottom of the ball out, the girls portion. We'll be back in the second quarter coming up. Second quarter on the main, the last die. Coach Chris Armstrong here with you. Coach, first quarter with St. Francis type of pace. I can probably uh, reverse it. Oh, he just needs to do a good job on the defensive end. I mean, the whole St. Francis to 18 points in the first quarter, that's good basketball. Try to keep the ball out of number 10's hands, and she has it right now. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Right on the shot clock with a three. Front end mess there. Wilson with it. Take that dribble. And a foul, reaching. 15 foul against Pop. Like we said earlier, we're going to have some people up here with us today, unlike uh, some of the games we do here. At, uh, That's a big foul for Miss Towns. Uh, definitely need her on the floor, her senior leadership, oh. her length. Uh, it's a big foul. Huge indeed. Over. Offensive rebound. Shooting two. 16 foul now against Polly. One more, they're going to put St. Francis in the one more. And that's early. Foul number 15, Asia Petty. Early. Her first person. Anaya Worthy. Shooting two. I think Coach P. Sable was saying the same thing. That's the same foul down on the other end, though. She'd like to get that call. Polly again, 14 and 1. St. Francis, 17 and 1. You got to see Polly's only defeat was ripped up after a shot. Absolutely. Just lost a strike. From St. Francis, both teams actually lost a ribbon up after. How about that? What's wrong about that? Oh, wow. Okay. That's rare. You see the same record we flipped the car. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sure Andrew's upset. I'm sure Coach is upset about the same call. Very unusual to see that. All right. That's Reese's second travel. Coach Shelton's going to keep Angel in, no doubt. Until that third one comes in. No good. Offensive rebound. Oh, Got to rebound the ball. It's one of the Dorsey sisters. Foul 
costs are piling up like money right now. Absolutely, man. And again, I think it's, it's St. Francis getting into the teeth of his own defense. But again, I think that, that you know, Asia Petty just needs to settle down and just, just use her six feet frame to put her hands up and not try to block every shot. Because the majority of blocks are fouls uh, in basketball. Mike. First shot in there. Gordine at Delonda Dorsey's sister. And they, uh, Delonda Dorsey is uh, class of 2022 season. Sophomore and the freshman. Delonda Dorsey. Both of them have done really well in the St. Francis system so far. I mean, again, St. Francis has a great scheme. And they're great coaches and they, they get some really, really good athletes as well. Throws that one up. Robinson shooting the pass. Again, wasn't the best mid-range jump shot, but anytime you get in the teeth and you can pull up, you have an opportunity. Probably got a lot of youth on the floor right now. A lot, a lot of young players. The only, the only senior that I see right now is uh, Ms. Wilson. So, Kendall, Coach Peace, really uh, trusted the young people that she has in the quarantine. First shot. Got it. Ms. Robinson. Both teams so boys, though, you know. When, when the going gets tough, they both know how to make something happen. Ah, second shot. Go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Quick timeout from St. Francis. Timeout. 6.45 here left in the first half. In the back. Back to game action here. 6.40 left in the first half.
kind of feel right now Polly needs to, to settle down and kind of get, get a good look at the basket. Game's starting to get away from him a little bit. Burn. Good shot. Again, that's a freshman. Mid-range game. Getting to the teeth of the defense to shoot it. Too. Right now, probably doing a lot of watching. Probably doing a lot of watching, slow to the ball. But as I said earlier, you got a lot of young players in the Coach Abel is, is really complaining right now about the fouls on this end. I think she just got a tech as well. No, this is I'm sorry, sideline one. Sideline one in on Coach Abel, I think. Surprised a little bit that Karis Ferguson hasn't been back in the game. She shot the ball well as she was playing and she rebounded well. I totally agree. I totally agree. She had the pace of the game well in her grasp. And that's a nine point lead here for St. Francis. When the Panthers get going, it's tough. Very tough. 454 left in the first. Half. Turn the ball over versus the ranked team. A nasty ranked team you can't turn the ball over. Reese. Oh boy. Oh. Big time foul. Again. Holly is trying to understand what I'm talking about. Make her shoot the ball. When she gets it going in that paint, man, St. Francis is a really tough team to beat. No question about it. What a crowd we, we are having here for this girls game. This is, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not really sure because Keith Abel wants the freshman to shoot a uh, ooh, no good. Shoot a three in transition. St. Francis is not letting Polly get inside and get anything easy. Again, but which was it called? And again, I think Coach Abel is arguing that point. Foul is called, 18 foul against Polly, the one one in effect. Yep. St. Francis always shooting two. Again, Coach Abel is spending a lot of time with her seniors on the bench right now, trying to let her young people play, keep her starters out of foul trouble. No question. Robinson was 
goes out for that long period of time, she's back in, she already made dividends. Absolutely. I mean, she's one of the better players from Poly. She has that speed to get something down the floor. Uh, so I, I just think, again, she got to settle this group down that's out there with her right now. She's truly the leader in this group that's out there right now. Question a five-point game here. Again, freshman needs to understand, we're going down 4-1, you don't need to shoot the ball. You need to pass the ball and get it back, or pass the ball for a layup. But don't try to go one-on-one -on -one versus McDonald's All-American in a 4-1 -on situation. So again, we go back to the youth that's on the floor right now. Uh, nice hustle to get that rebound. Missed it high, and Reese with the rebound. Side, good God. I know you can do. Oh. I'm going to say again, when the ball goes down in the teeth, you're better off allowing her this contest with your hand. Try not to pass. Oh. to kind of sew himself down and back within striking distance. And it's offensively, like you've been saying, they can get down, do the right thing. Absolutely. Like, they're right back in the game. They were down 12, but uh, right now they're down six points. They need to just do the right things down here. Rare miss. Very rare for Andrew. The last one spent out that miss. Six point lead here. Fuck. Tried to pick a hold of the mom to reach though. That was a uh, learning tree uh, lesson there, wasn't it, Coach? <laughs> Again, I think Coach Abel was telling the young freshman right now, you gotta pass the ball. Like, yeah, you're, you're, you're a very good player. You're young. Just let the game go. Forced into a foul. Yes. As Coach Abel goes deeper into our bench. Pull them all out today. I love it. <laughs> but this may be one of those situations where we want to let everybody play. Definitely. Big game. We're at Morgan State University. The whole city is here. Looks like St. Francis is going to turn that pressure up a little bit. And a rebound. Both teams shooting two. And that's in a half. Yeah, Polly is probably fast enough to run up and down the floor with St. Francis. Again, six point lead. Polly is right there playing all the babies. You're right, all of them. All man. the babies. Two in a row. Miss Robinson. Lead leader. to five. Yep. She's the leader of this group. Please. That's a rebound. That's a three. That tipped and missed. Finally gets it back. Good defensive possession there for the Anthony. Absolutely. And again, they're down five right now. St. Francis called the press off. Got a couple people in foul trouble right now. Oh, 
St. Francis goes back to the 2-1-2 zone. That's a three. Oh, off the back, no good uh, for Henson. Did she shoot it off the glass on the side? I think so. Oh, my. Go on, see. Good pass. Nice pass. Good pass. There's some contact there, no doubt about that. Again, probably just can't seem to make the can't seem to get it under five. Humphrey, Humphrey at the line for a shot front end. on the floor. No question about that. Shot clock at nine. Three ball from Dorsey. No good. Offensive rebound. Ah, spin out. Finally gets it back. Off the tip. And the bass has not been kind to either side here no, in the second no, quarter. We've been at 29-24 for quite a while. But again, I, I think that speaks volumes for Polly right now, having such a young group in the game and only being down by five. Oh. Hands in the hands of Reese off the turnover. Coast to coast. Oh, man. Rare miss. Rare indeed. Quickly for 
three. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what? Second half, I think it's going here a long time. So, so I had mercy, had to go through. The best them and making sure everything's all right. And this one right now, Polly down by five. Does it get a turn? Over there. They're trying to get the ball to Reese inside. Tried to intercept it and do. Humphrey brings it. We give it up now. Back over to Turner. 737 hit left in the third. Inside the Reese. Couldn't finish it high. Back over. Got it in. Turner again. With another bucket inside. And the lead is 33 to 26. Bucket in the pocket there by Towns. Up there. Crowd thickening for the boys showdown. But we got this great girls game, and that's a foul. Two shots are coming. Shooting up there.
got it back. Wilson, shot clock at 12. Inside the town. Oh, offensive foul. Two twenty six left. You're in the third. Big City. Over. The drive. Two shots coming.
Please, two, one. Missed it high. That is the point. He had a three. And it's the Rock Negro throwdown. With that even at 42, fourth quarter coming up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Reese with the long arms again. Getting another rebound. Coast to coast. This. Missed it high. Back in the offensive rebound for St. Francis.
Anthony of Clark. St. Francis here. One point game, three minutes left. And at that, oh, it's almost a steal. Timeout again, Michael Shelton. Timeout, one left. Back with the finish. Down the stretch, Ruth Plum. Here at Morgan in this girls' match. Here. Dorsey, the sister. 
Foster. And Lutren. Two sets the rest of the way. Do some of Polly's biggest games. 
The last one was against Pilati. They pulled it out by one, thanks to Petty. There's a talented winner. Back over, shot caught, one and down. in the shot clock and the game clock. Both teams are uh, over the pylon. That's a pop. Lost it. Lost it. It was tapped. It was tapped out. St. Francis gets it back. 33.3 left. Coming down to the wire, baby. Oh, it's got to be stars here. No doubt about it.
Tip off here in overtime. Pilot gets it first. What a matchup here in the Baltimore ball, our first game. Key possession here for Pilot. Early! Inside is Towns and missed it high. That ball out of bounds. I think Pilot got a Pilot got a gift there. I think the rest gonna talk. It's gross back out. Yep, it's all right. That's the right call. Pass us get it back. Three forty-eight. I said it's going to stay with Pilot. The second time in this game we had a double reversal. That's right. Holly keeps it here. 348 left in the extra pair. I was talking on Cameron. Cameron's second overtime game this weekend on the Dodge Money Network. We had Boys Latin and uh, Mount Kilmer. Went to overtime on the boys' side last week. Here on our air. Three chairs, Wilson got it. Towns going inside. The floater missed it high. Offensive rebound back to Polly. The one major advantage that St. Francis had is now gone with Reese being fouled out the game. And she only can be a spectator like the rest of us. Shot clock down to 16. Wilson. Inside the town. Swings it. That's a three from Ghost. No good. St. Francis tried to get it back, but not. Polly keeps it. Bad news says. Mike Towns went down pretty hard. Back to game action. Lost it on the deck. Jump ball is called. Going back to St. Francis. Oh. Against the Panthers. Got the rebounding edge. Oh, they call the foul instead. Ball coming on the other end of the shoot
left in this one in overtime. Under. That's a three. Cross is right over the back. The ball going back to Polly. Offensive foul. Season two here on the other end. I can increase the lead. to Polly in the later part of the second half. Got that second one. The lead to two. 135 left here in overtime. Stolen by Towns. Layup, no good. Off, jump ball again. This time it's going back to St. Francis. 27 left. The door has not been closed on this one yet by a long Coast to coast. To walk. Now the ball back to Polly again. Up by two. Both teams again over the foul limit. Two shots. Three foul. The rest of the way here. The defensive position in the here. The One oh seven left. Clock at 14. Wilson. Clark. At the Wilson. Drives. Up and in. Good play by the senior point guard. Leads to four. Holly. They put out St. Francis Girls here on the rope. That's to take the shot. Goes inside. Down, oh, Mr. Rose. Wilson with it.
second shot in there. 70, 63. There are five angel weeks, five opportunities, renewable weeks. Lost it. And that's going to do it. The Lady Engineers in the first game on the bottom of the This is Die Sporting Network.